Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com and in this video I'll be showing you uh, everything new in iOS 8. Some of the changes in iOS 8 are pretty small and others are big, but if you look at the clock uh, right here, you can see that it's now animated, uh, so that's good to see and you can actually uh, tell the time there and it matches up with the time up top. Uh, now if you uh, go into Passbook now, You'll see Passbook right here has much more functionality and you can have your credit card in Passbook now uh, so you can make it more usable in that manner. Now Passbook was originally introduced in iOS 6, I didn't really catch on and also in iOS 7 didn't really catch on but this looks like to be uh, the third time is the charm for Apple in regards to Passbook. Now you also do have health. And this is a really good feature, and with health, you can see uh, your dashboard for the day, the week, the month, the year. Uh, you can see uh, all your body measurements, your fitness, uh, your nutrition results, sleep and vitals. Uh, and you also have your sources of apps that you can use uh, that uh, coagulate with this. And then you have medical ID, and medical ID will help uh, with uh, tracking in this app uh, so that you can get the most accurate results possible. Uh, now, if you go to the next page, you can see you don't have too many new things. You just have your calculator uh, and your contacts, your voice memos, uh, your podcasts, uh, and then you have your FaceTime and tips. Tips is now a thing and can easily start learning about your device. And uh, once again, uh, Apple doesn't include uh, any manuals with uh, their devices. So this is good for, I guess, the newbies uh, that just got their first iPhone. Uh, and you can see all the important features uh, and all the features that you should know. Now, if you go into multitasking now, you can see that you'll have your recent contacts here. So whoever you're texting most recently and anything like that. And then you have everything that was open and you can just uh, swipe uh, and it will be gone. Uh, so you also do have, uh, if you go into settings and then wallpaper, you can see that you have some new wallpapers. If you uh, take a look at new wallpapers, none in the dynamic. But if you go into stills, you'll see you have all these new wallpapers and you can easily change it if you want to. So maybe like a gradient one like this, you can set it for both. And you'll see that we have the new wallpaper here and it looks a lot better. Now the battery life doesn't drain like it used to and it's more stable for a full day of use. Uh, and you also do have a suggested keyboard. So if we open up a new message uh, and it will suggest uh, what I want to say if we go uh, closer and look at it. So as you can see, it will just suggest uh, what I'm typing and think uh, what I'm trying to say. And those are the main features that you'll find in iOS 8. So this is a gold master, which is basically the final version of iOS 8. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe. So please smash the like button down below. Also, if you want to update to iOS 8 right now, click the annotation and the second link in the description down below. And please be sure to Please be sure to check out AppleCritics.com for latest Apple news, reason more, and thanks for watching.